Welcome, brothers and sisters, to another segment of Moments with the Master. Uh, my name is Brother Renthian Pickney. I'm one of the deacons and ministers here at the uh, Trinity God Church of Christ. And what I want to uh, do today is to talk to you about how we as Christians should allow God's Word to be alive and active in our life. How we as Christians should allow God's Word to be alive and active in our life. Around this time of the year, many people are making New Year's resolutions. And, and I believe one of the best resolutions to make is to decide that you're going to allow God's Word to be alive and active in your life. The scripture we're going to use to emphasize this point is found in Hebrews uh, chapter uh, 4, verses 1 through 13. Hebrews chapter 4, verses 1 through 13. And in uh, that particular text, the, uh, the writer of Hebrews talks about uh, uh, the three types of rest that we can achieve uh, in God. He talks about a, a spiritual rest in chapter and verse three. And then in verse four, he talks about a, a physical rest. And in, in verses five through 11, he talks about eternal rest that we all hope to one day obtain. But then in verse 12, he talks about how God's word is alive and active and how it's like a, a double-edged sword and how it's able to uh, separate both uh, soul and spirit and bone and marrow and how it's able to judge uh, the thoughts and the attitudes of people. And because of that, it's nothing that can be concealed from God. It's nothing that God doesn't know about. Now, there's a couple of things that we can learn from this particular text. Number one is that in, in order for God's word to be alive and active in our lives, we must have the right mindset. In order for God's word to be alive and active in our life, we must have the right mindset. When it comes to studying God's word, you must have the right mindset. You must have the mindset that you are going to obey God's word no matter how uncomfortable it makes you feel or how no matter how much you don't want to do it. Uh, the writer of Hebrews talks about it in verse 7. He says, when you hear God's voice today, don't harden your hearts. When you study God's word, you have to have the attitude that I'm going to obey it and apply it to every aspect of my life. That means your job, uh, your relationship. Uh, it, it means uh, whatever your finances uh, and your day-to-day -day, uh, activities and relationships with others, you're going to apply God's word to your everyday life. And it also means that you understand when you read God's Word, you're not just reading anything. You're not reading a novel. You're not just reading Reader's Digest. You're reading God's Word. And God's Word is how He communicates with us. So when we read it, we have to take it seriously, and we have to have the attitude that we are going to obey what we read and what we learn. The second thing that uh, we can learn from this is that once we study God's Word, we should allow it to cause us to look inwardly at our own lives. Again, in verse 12, the writer of Hebrews talks about how God's word is like a double-edged sword, how it uh, uh, causes, uh, how it's able to split spirit and soul and uh, bone and marrow and judge the thoughts and the, and the hearts of people. So when you study God's word, because it is like a double-edged sword, it should cause you to look at uh, your own life, to take an inward look or a self-examination and look at some of the issues you may have or some of the problems that you need to work on. So often we find it easy to uh, judge other people or to uh, highlight the issues other people have. But uh, very seldom do we want to uh, address the issues that we have or the things that we need to work on. So when we study God's Word, we should allow it to cause us to self-examinate, to uh, ask ourselves, what is it in our lives that we need to work on? Now, none of us are perfect, but the thing that God's word should help us to try to do is to try to become more Christ-like. And when you study his word, it should allow you or motivate you to take that self-examination, to look inward at your own life. So I just want to encourage you to allow God's word to become more uh, active in your life today by having the right mindset when you study his word. And also, when you study his word, allow it to cause you to look inwardly at your own life. And by doing so, you will be able to achieve that, that rest that the writer of Hebrews talks about, that spiritual rest, that physical rest, and finally, that eternal rest. 
And in the process, you will be also allowing God's word to be alive and active in your life. Again, thank you for joining us for another segment of Moments with the Master. Until next time, may God keep you and bless you.